I, I usually say this to parents or the adults, do they want a pet? Do you actually want a dog? Do you want a kitten? Particularly if they're coming under pressure from their children. Because it's probably no good to, it's not a benefit to them if they have a dog that they don't want or a kitten that they don't want. So the first thing is to decide whether you really want a dog. It's a big responsibility to take on and I'd like to see more people take that responsibility seriously. There's plenty of people who have dogs but they're well able to look after the dog, exercise the dog, the dog gets out and is much loved and well looked after. You're not keen to go out. Huh. Snoopy loves his little uh, son. Come on! Come on, Pamela, come on! Come on! Come here, come on! I'm a dog groomer. Um, I've been grooming since 1991. I love dogs, and I think dogs are a great, and they're part of our family. We had one in South Boston, Wyoming, we adopted, and I adopted two cats as well. Um, I adopted a dog that was my cousin's. So we had the four animals at once. When we moved to Ireland, uh, we adopted uh, another dog, uh, a, a Squirtle. We then had a Golden Retriever, and then these, this fella was adopted. She was a puppy when we got her, and he was a foster dog that we decided to keep. So about eight dogs all together. Yeah, this is Panda, Panda Bear. This is Snoopy, uh, he's three. Panda is seven. And this is Charlie, he's nine. The Limerick Animal Welfare was started about 30 years ago. Um, a group of ladies um, started picking up stray dogs in the, the city. And the sanctuary was opened in 2007 um, and started with a small building rehoming dogs and cats. So we rehome about 500 dogs each year. What we try and do is match the pet with the person. So, you know, we ask them questions like, do they own their own home or are they in rented accommodation? Are they allowed a dog? or a cat, if we allowed a pet. We would encourage people to adopt a rescue dog rather than go in to a puppy farm and, and actually buy a dog. Um, because the conditions for the puppies and the dogs in puppy farms is not good. So um, we would really encourage people to adopt, don't shop, so adopt a, a rescue dog. And there's so many dogs in the pound and the rescues and they're all looking for homes. <laughs> Sometimes, and unfortunately, I've seen it over the years, people get cheap Christmas presents for their children, a puppy or a kitten. Um, it's just not, to my mind, that's not appropriate. It's, it's, it's something that you should consider um, and, and realise that it is, it is a long-term commitment. Traditionally, people have found themselves, I suppose, puppies maybe more than, than kittens around Christmas time. Um, it's probably in the last since COVID, it's all year round that people are getting puppies. During COVID, there's been a huge number of um, people looking for dogs. Uh, every day our phone's been ringing. If we put a, a dog up um, for adoption, we get hundreds and hundreds of emails, which is very unusual. Well, certainly COVID made a big difference to, um, I suppose the demand and pe for puppies and uh, particular dogs of, of all different types. Um, yeah, there was a, an uptake. I did see, oh yeah, I saw loads of new dogs walking around the neighborhood. And I also work in a doggy daycare. So we had a lot of puppies. Um, when people were going back to work, they needed um, daycare. And the problem there is the dog is used to everyone being home. So then a lot of dogs develop separation anxiety from not, for being left alone then on their own. Um, people had time to themselves that particular spring and summer of it was lovely. Um, so an awful lot of people went out and got dogs. So at the moment um, it has calmed down a bit, but what we're actually seeing now 
is people ringing, looking to surrender their dogs because they're now going back to the office, they're going back to work, and it's unfair that the dog's locked in the house all day, so, and they're being destructive. So we're now seeing a different type of inquiry. Weeks later, they just don't want them anymore. They wouldn't necessarily cross my door or any other vet's door in terms of looking for homing. And sadly, an awful lot of people do impetuously decide to get an animal um, for Christmas or for any other event time of the year, sometimes for a surprise gift for somebody. We would never um, adopt an animal for Christmas. Um, and we would never adopt an animal as a present. So, for instance, as a birthday present or as a surprise, um, we don't feel that that would be very responsible. Pups, unwanted pups turn up after Christmas. And that's been a constant, as far as I can recall, for, for many, many years. And, and I can remember a time in Limerick, and people might be upset to even hear this, where uh, unwanted kittens and unwanted puppies you know, that were put into juice bags and thrown into the river with a few stones in the bag. Now, it, it can be horrendous to even conceive of that, but it was done. So that's, that's part of the reality it's, it's not today's reality, I hope, but it, it is a historical reality. Um, but abandoning a little pup on the side of the road, it, it could get killed straight away, starve. Maybe it'll be fortunate enough to get found by somebody and rescued. Um, there would be prey, other dogs or foxes or other animals would probably kill it and eat it. So it, it's, it's not the right thing to do. Before adopting a pet, you should really research the pet that you're looking at, the breed, their requirements. They need to be aware as to whether that animal is suited for their lifestyle. Is it suited for their home? Is, there, is it suited for their garden? Certainly giving a dog or a cat a second chance is, can be a very rewarding thing. A dog is for life. And um, when you do adopt a dog, you have to think about the care that goes into the dog as well. Um, you know, and then a dog needs to be walked and it needs to have a bit of space. Um, but the dog needs your time as well, because dogs are part of your family. You're, you're part of their pack. So they want your attention. You know, they're, they're, they're just like kids and they need those things, they just don't talk back to you, right? And they're more happy to see you than kids are. <laughs> Most of the dogs I have had over the years have been waifs and strays, and, and, and um, you know, they, they, they can turn into great pets. And, and, and certainly giving a dog or a cat a second chance is, can be a very rewarding thing. Uh, and find a new home and match you know, a nice home with a nice dog or cat, as the case may be. So if you have a groomer or you have a vet and you, you're you thinking of it, you could talk to them because a lot of times they'll come across people who are ready. And I, I also believe, too, for a lot of people who have lost a dog or are thinking of it, when you're ready, the dog finds you, you know? So as you can tell, a lot of dogs find me. But.